Hi, welcome. It's time for some uh, downtime. <laughs> I have Salient OS Plasma uh, downloaded and it's not yet installed, so I'm gonna put it in there. It's in my documents. I have already made a video about XFCE. And just for fun, I'm going to install Salient Plasma and have a look at the Sally and the surfing icons. But as well, try out our new application that's called Arachnic Spices. The idea of the spices is what we've uh, always done on our website, arachnicsd.com. Have a look. There is phase five, and in there is a menu called spices. The idea is to get Arachnix stuff on Arachnix, but since Salient OS, Manjaro, and so many others are based on Arch Linux, you can import elements you like from there. So I often see conkeys pop up in Ubuntu and all that. So it's still intermixable. It's still Linux. You can get elements from Arch Linux and put them on a Solus installation and so on. So we get this uh, installer here, which uh, normally you should recognize, right? So this is Calamaris and it's immediately set to the language I'm living in. So uh, the country I'm living in, but I want this to not want that. So I have not enabled that on our system. I want American English. Next, Brussels is correct. Next, Belgian, fine. Next, erase disk, no swap, all good. And some names and then next. And this is what we have as well as a net installer module in Calamaris. I'll explain it in the Carly project, how to set everything up like this. But I don't need Nvidia. I don't need the CUDA toolkit also for Nvidia. Intel you code, yes, I can do that, but it will take just more time to install. So this is just a test, a virtual box environment. So to get a feel of what Plasma feels like. Every distribution has made different choices. Do I want Stacer? There. Do I want Spectacle? There. Yeah, that's Plasma. But Stacer is something that's a choice. And SUSE Studio is a choice. It can be Edger as well. It can be Minstick. It can be anything, right? So Katarina up there was also a choice. Um, the Grub Customizer is here. So it's fun to play around making your own distribution because, because of course you decide what Lego blocks come on your ISO and that's the Arcanix B project. There you build it yourself, you put OBS Studio in it and next time you want to install, you'll have OBS Studio because it's your ISO, it's your choice to put it on there. So that's the fun of it, building these things. Telegram is here already, Discord is already here uh, on the ISO but you can install it via Calamaris as well. So it's all about choices. Lutris is here, not, um, not just Steam, but Lutris as well. So it's all about good fun and play because whatever we're doing, we actually are relying on the guys of Arch Linux. So archlinux.org is the operating system in a sense. What we are doing is deciding I want that package and that package from Arch, that one from AOR, and um, no, I do want not like that wallpaper, so I'm gonna make a configuration file, a package, and I'm gonna say, no, I'd like to have a blue color and a black thing and a black wallpaper and icon, this and icon, that. Some nice packages uh, to run uh, games and so on and so on. And what you get, a distribution, right? And an OS, an operating system that has a particular kind of look. And that's basically what we wanna do. That's basically, I think, what most of us want to do. Um, but I get that, or you should get that, basically we are still relying for the stability, the safety and all that on Arch Linux, right? These developers. So that's installed. We have now the system here. And what I would like to do, Control T, just play around a little bit and see what I'm missing or see what I'm changing and, and stuff like that. So we could do a nano, ooh, 
Well, let's teach a little bit. You know me, sorry, but I am a teacher. If people didn't know, yes, I am. And it's probably my blood, I suppose. So US English at, was it here? I always mix it up. It's here. Belgian at English, you're out. So now I have my SRT keyboard. It's super desktop plasma, people say, not my cup of tea, but it is all there. The settings is just enormous. I have not explained all the settings. <laughs> there are There's so many settings, okay? But it is probably gonna be there if you want to change something. I just wanted to nano and then bash RC. All right, so we have here some text, some code you can do. And as you see here, the, the NeoFetch is, is not used, C is used. And that's something I've used, I think two years ago or something, when I was still on Arch Labs. So C is a nice look, uh, Alt and the L is then giving you this one. And probably others as well. So you know the drill, minus minus help or dash H. This is probably the same thing everywhere, I hope. Developers use it everywhere because it makes it more usable for everybody. Use the Arch E logo, minus A. I see there, what's that? That's gonna look like this. Okay, so it's a choice, right? Pseudo Pacman minus S NeoFetch. And that's another choice. And in the meantime, I've I'm in contact with the developer of Salient OS, which is great. So we can support each other in when we develop our ISOs based on Arch Linux. Um, but one of the things you could do is, is add a nice icon to the GitHub of NeoFetch. And the same applies to, let's do that as well. Then we have the three of them. There are three possibilities, basically. Uh, sorry. Yeah, true, correct typed it correctly. And screen fetch is another one. So you want your logo to be everywhere you go. So that's nice. I'll see, okay, figure that out, I'll see. Um, what else? We have console. You know me, I am so into key keyboard shortcuts and that's probably because I was years on i3 that I really am keyboard driven. So the shortcuts are here. We could make a custom shortcut for a nice little group and call them little group. Eric or our clinics or anything you like. That's just a name. And then, well, let's make this global theme. Uh, yes, apply. Let's make this white because this is probably very hard for you guys to look at, to read. So the keyboard shortcuts, I was just making a custom keyboard group and in there, in this group, we can add our own stuff. So we can have our own little group to enable or disable. Um, console, right? Console is not working in the sense that I do like my control alt T there. Uh, reassign, yes, please. Um, an action console apply control t is now my console yakowake i love that one too yakowake is not installed pseudo pacman this is not saying anything about salient os nor that i should do anything change anything to the system it's just me having fun with uh, applications or workflow things you like um, it's all very very personal and distribution and the way you set it up, it is very personal. So I've been, as a matter of example, um, I've been working on Linux Mint Cinnamon for three, four, five years. You can see all the videos I've made on Eric the Bottle BE. And um, each time on um, each new Linux Mint version they have, I always change everything, but really everything. So it really looks completely different and that's normal that's okay that's, that's supposed to be like that change the distro the way you like it the way you 
have your workflow because that's often the thing. You have keyboard shortcuts that you have in your fingers and you say, I want to have this and I want to have that. Or you have wallpapers you like, I'm going to make E. Looking for a brighter one, that's the next one. Let's take this one, that sound looks like a little bit brighter. Okay, so um, playing around with the settings. I need F12 to install yay. Is in yay there? Yay is installed. Fine. So oh, there's already some updates. Let's do an update. And of course, you will say to me, Eric, you're not on Arc Linux. That's an alias. Sudo pacman minus s. It's fun to have aliases, but guys, see that you know the real command. Okay, booting up. I booting up, I mean installing, but I need to boot up because I see here a Linux 5.5.8 and that's my alarm and systemd is another alarm then after updating. And if you get a bunch of KD stuff in, then you need to update as well. You'll see errors in Dolphin and all that. Reboot. It is always a lot to download. We Arch Linux users are used to it. It only changes 12 megabytes, but it is of course 500 megabytes again to download and again and again and again, of course, with all these SSDs that I have. I switch my SSD in a bay, which also is a good tip. Do not mix operating systems on one hard disk if there's no need to, in the sense of a financial need buy a bay put it in a desktop and it pops out the ssd you put another one in the windows gaming ssd and you keep these things separate just an idea hope all is it gonna work guys sure not so maybe yay minus syu is gonna work so that's aor stuff and indeed three packages to update and then we can really reboot and we have it all so quick look around as well so elements to take a look at maybe you see ideas for instance Lutris is now on the calamaris installer so we can install it from there uh, that's an idea sudo reboot let's boot up And then we get our Surfen, Surfen and um, Sardi icons in. I now have at least three icons to fix. Was it four? On the XFCE version. So I'm sure I'll have things to fix here as well. My Yakawaki is not there. Yes, sure, F12. All right, so, yay, savvy icons. Well, actually, this is for me a better time. So either you get it from AOR, AOR has the savvy icons, but we have, as Linux our own repo. So Control F is not working. Control Alt F is a keyboard shortcut. So this can be done gradually, right? One after the other. Console is here, fine. So a new one, global shortcut. And this is gonna be Firefox. I hope it's, in, it's there. Otherwise we'll install it. Control Alt F is going to launch in our Linux Firefox. And I'm so used to all these keyboard shortcuts. I do not think about it, it's just Press the button. Arch Linux info. We've developed something new. We tried it out, we've improved it, and another there's another version, and you'll see this thing here uh, is, is, is staying the same in a sense, but this version number will be growing. 
at this time I think it does what it needs to do but we'll get other what ifs you know me and then we'll add it to the list I'm missing here my terminal I do love my toolbar to be having this open terminal thing and then in here we have the open terminal apply okay so now I have this button here to quickly say sudo oops sudo backbone minus u remember the u you are going to install it you are to have it have it downloaded and set up so u is a local package s is coming from somewhere else we have Arclink spices installed okay super spacebar is gonna give a pop-up here and it's gonna type spices how is it called again discover or something is it something else k runner that's the name so k runner is going to launch my like so my application spices here it is Arclink spices okay and this little application is allowing the Arch Linux packages to come on any Arch Linux based system. So now I'm using Salient OS. I could try this in Manjaro, could try it in other systems, and people are already trying and putting it images on the Discord here, Discord channel we have. So that's great. So limitless possibilities, freedom of choice, experimenting, mixing. We have repos from other people. Um, there's a the Hefto repo and the Bobo repo and there can be more right it is all about teaming tweaking configs choices and this is exactly what Linux is freedom of choice article like uh, spices applications sorry about that um, me personally I this house this country this internet service provider I need to start for um, a kind of fix for the key server what I'm doing is I'm adding key servers with a port and I need to do this first before I do number one but most of the people say I don't have any issues in my country so and it's just one you can skip two and then three four five so this is because I'm living and where I'm living then this is going to get the keys in but not only the keys from online but uh, the article next key so we sign our packages just a measure of uh, precaution or security my key is used against the package so if the key is not correct the, the check is not correct and that's all in the back end pacman takes care of that then um, uh, if it's not correct it's not gonna work so that's an extra advantage an extra security layer that we have so this is what you need to see three hashtags here three hashtags there four hashtags there meaning it the script is has ended because there are scripts behind it simple as that a few scripts uh, for an, an GUI in front of it right so that's done um, the system now knows what keys there are and the Arconix key is in there then we're gonna add the repo which is going to result in another pacman.conf so when we do our pseudo pacman minus sy by u we get more stuff we get our clinics repo stuff so suddenly you have a bunch of extra packages you can install in your system right our Linux. it's simple it's uh well first yeah i did that correctly but yeah remember um f12 is not a good choice now Control alt t then an update which is does not uh, exist yet soon it will exist not yet and then now we can do sudo pacman minus s arco linux Ooh, not working not yet working mm, let me think let me think why not should work uh, let me think in the meantime so this is is done I can't do it twice would uh, bad idea uh, get the latest Arconix bash RC I'm gonna do that as well the bash RC is now overwritten Control H bash RC is this one 
this is ours. This is a message I got also in XFC. I'm not sure what that is. But the bash RC is working. Test, no. Update, so source bash RC. Fine. Update now. Okay, now the aliases are working. RIP is not working because I need to run this one. Add software used in Bash RC. So reflector is there, XPack is there. And when that's installed, then I can do my RIP. So the last thing I've installed was HW Info, XPack, the mirror list, the spices. And that's it. So now we are still looking for the reason if I close everything. If I go to our drive, let's think about this methodology, methodo thing or something, right? Now what the word below, what the word is. So here it is. We have our elements. Like so. A nice little space there. And Pac-Man mirror list is there. Up there we have the etc pacman.d, he needs that as well. And Alcoholics mirror list is here too. So that's fine as well. So basically, guys, come on. There is no reason why I shouldn't do Alcoholics. There they are. What happened? I don't know. So we can install all these packages, Arch Linux packages, and um, we have a choice to import any of these. And the simplest things, of course, are wallpapers, but I could install variety on this system, for instance. There's no variety here. I could install the Arch Linux Tweak tool, which I'm gonna do, because how about playing around <laughs> with the tweak tool, all right? Now, this is version 81 and we're actually working on 93, so we know it's still not perfect, but hey, it's a work in progress. Um, so you just wait, it's gonna be awesome. Tweak tool. Nothing happens, aha, finally. It is slow, I grant you that. And, ah yeah, there are still some rules in this old version that we fixed already. And one of them is it needs to have an auto start. This actually can't be there because there is no Calamaris after an installation anymore. Never mind. Never mind. Um, so why is not working? Control T. Let's see what we're missing. Tweet tool. Debug. No. Just tweet tool. Let's see what it says. He wants to have an auto start. Yeah, I thought about it. Was that so? Auto start. No such. Final found error. Home Eric I bus. SH desktop. Okay. He's not happy with that. Good question. So this one I doesn't like it and indeed it's not a desktop file. Uh, so we should make a a um, control Z. When we click once on it, it actually opens it wants to open so this has a setting of one click open thing and I've made a video not too long ago about the fact that I don't like that so poo, 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 poo. workspace behavior single click to open files double click to open files this is more Windows approach which means I can click and it will not launch and say delete so that's the problem. This has a sh thing in there, and sh is not a dot desktop file. So it says, "What is this?" And it can't process it. 
So we, we need to make a selection there just to take the dot desktop things. And then we're in the clear. So how to start desktop installer. We can install awesome. Why not? Select to clear the cache. Nope. We're just going to install and nothing is happening here. Grab config will not work. HBlock might work. Yep, it is working. So we have HBlock, which is preventing us to go to all these hideous websites. I think it's 120,000 websites that are blocked. So the, their IPs are set to 000 in the ETC hosts. And well, they never get out. You never get to them as well. So we have the Arc Linux repos are activated. We can actually do a test repo here. And that's that. We don't need to set anything more. Well, I hope I remember to come back to the spin-offs. So there are other repos we can add. We can add Hefters and Bobo's repo. But let's now see what happens if I update the system. Well, we can't. We need to actually log out and log in and then have my F12 back. I want to have my F12, so log out. I want to be able to use the drop down. Nice login, right? Now the F12 is not working anymore. F12 is not working. If you're tired of all the buttons, well, we could actually make a shortcut. We can also make a out to start file as well but hey so uh yakuake yakuake all right trigger f12 num f12 yeah so he is already he has already a thing so fine uh remove then delete so we need to have a uh, apply. We need to put something in the auto start. What was that again? Yakuaki. I was setting somewhere and I don't really know where that was again. Startup, play sound show, log to file, run speech. Uh huh. That's the notifications. Well, I'm looking at the wrong place here. Don't need the notifications. I need the settings. And there's somewhere, I don't know, this I can't find so easily somewhere. I don't know if it can set it here. Edit current file. Tabs. So I want to auto start it. If I looked over it, sorry guys, I've looked over it. Because I am forgetting what I was actually doing now. Um, I'm forgetting what I was doing. Let's use that one. The spices have been installed. Tweak tool has been installed. The test repo, that's the thing where we're doing. So updates, we had the test repo activated. And there it is. And uh, there's already a new version there to test. Still not perfect, still not happy, but it's never perfect. I need mean, it's a work in progress, always is. Control Alt E is our tweet tool. We're back on the keyboard shortcuts. I hate my keyboard shortcuts that are not there. Um, so, repetition is the best way to teach. So, tweet tool. Control Alt E, and it's called Arco Linux Tweak Tool, of course. And we do an apply. Well, let's leave it open. <laughs> We're probably going to use it later on. And there we go. We have our Tweak Tool launching with Control Alt E. There's all the log file. Yeah, sure, because we crashed. Oops. Uh, Control Alt E is the button, not Control T. So that's cool. Desktop installer. Let's see if something happens. Yay! We can install awesome on Salient OS. 
I'm curious to see how that will go, of course, since this is the first time I ever do that. And this is my downtime, guys. This is my fun. Yeah. Look out. Now, the button, the button, the button to change uh, is down here. Plasma. Hidden at the bottom there. Control T. Well, my keyboard shortcuts are not working and this is not working either because all the keyboard shorts, shortcuts I'm pressing now are not installed. What is installed is this one. Control Alt F is Firefox. What I've not installed is uh, a lot of stuff. I'm going to Control F3. So I'm on VirtualBox. On VirtualBox, you go to TTY with the right control on the keyboard, F3. You're now in your virtual box, right? And then you say, I'm gonna log in. And then when I'm missing, to get some perspective and all, all these styling window managers, is Tunar. Tunar is not there. And I always forget this guy, UXVT guy. Let's start with this guy. So Tunar needs to be installed. So I leave, leave it totally up to, to people to choose their file manager. There is um, Tunar, there is Nautilus, there is, um, come on, come on, Nemo. Um, so it's up to you to, uh, to decide whatever file manager you like. Let me check what else I need. Yeah. I need also sudo pacman minus s and then we have rxvt unicode I did the typo I guess and that's it all right so these two guys are important for awesome I'm going to back with control f7 um, if my mouse is correct here right control F7, I do not seem to be able to do that right now. Maybe I am not, that's F8, whoa, that's nice, right? So I'm, it thinks I'm in, in plasma and I'm getting the result of um, now is not. So let's just sudo reboot so we get back into awesome i suppose we get first in plasma let's see because i don't know i haven't checked yet but i suppose it's gonna be sddm as uh, login and not lightm um where is the login start up and shut down so sddm it is and it's Kogir or something like that. That's gonna log us in. So that's that. Back to, well, before we go, let's quickly install one more. Nah, let's not be impatient. Let's do log out and we can install one there. In awesome. So down here we have learned and control T and super shift enter are going to provide something, but this is really not nice in the sense that this, this, this log, I can't read what it says here. Um, let's take dolphin then, or is this dolphin? I had a this is not working either the d menu so if the developer kid could get back to me and say why it is i can't type in d menu i must miss some kind of puzzle or piece of i don't know um, i can type but it's all black that's a challenge i'm going to type xterm not working termite not installed sudo pac min minus s oh no 
made some typos. Sudo pack. Jesus. Now this is not the way to go. Log out. Let's fix our terminal. That's some missing something, I guess. Uh, restart is working. Logout is not working. Okay, might be missing a piece of the puzzle. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see. So, ah, that's working. We have the test repo, sudo pacman minus s, article Linux tweak tool. I'm going, going to go tweak. Did some typo, did I? Okay. Okay, there we are. Article Linux tweak tool. I'm going to go for the development version, so the version nobody has yet. And see, because it's the same version, hmm, not, might not be the reason then. Okay, awesome. The logout, that amazes me. So, what I need, what I want, here can I type something? I can type sudo pacman minus s termite. I'm gonna get the termite teams in. And that's about it for now. It's going to go in etc scale, so I'm gonna type scale. And this needs to be fixed, that's our problem. This is something that in next release we need to fix. It's something with permissions that we have done wrong. This is not from us. So that's something else entirely. Um, easily fixed at this point in time, but it needs to be fixed in the application, of course. So what you do is remove the dot config where am i at this point in time present working directory is home eric so i'm gonna remove everything in the config and awesome and always forget that minus r recursive with some force boom it's gone when i do a scale it's gonna be back and all the rest is not my thing that's not from us so the awesome uh, messages are gone and they have now and that's a problem ls ll is gonna work that's a problem we have created we have not seen and now we'll fix that's in the config we are eric so that's good but in the cd config in there oh yeah cd.config oh yeah i'm in there um, LL, we need to fix. We need to fix the names, the groups, but we've just fixed it with a scalp, right? But normally this awesome has another um, permission, and that's the problem. Anyway, awesome was black. What we need as well is a pseudo pacman minus s article linux root x resources is coming in and x resources is already existing on the system so cilium s has its own version of x resources i can't install it because it conflicts with the elements there now normally i would say i'm gonna remove the package that contains it minus 
remove and I was just hoping that it would be salient or s or something it's not there what I would do then is go to I would like to have Pamac or something like it because I kind of like Pamac and it's there well I can launch it from here but let's just do update software update and let's investigate where are the packages coming from right so categories repositories and I wonder where all the applications are the applications from this repo and I know I really don't know I would say you go and have a look at the root settings or Dolphin root, fake root, test the plasma settings. You would call it plasma, I suppose. Plasma viewer, plasma desktop. But I would call it salient or something. So I'm not sure. But um, we can have a look. I just came across the GitHub salient OS GitHub. And there was a repo. And uh, that's not a good one, I guess. Uh -huh. Salient OS. I saw somewhere a repo. So how are the packages called? Calamaris, Compton, Dolphin, Root. Probably Dolphin, Root and stuff like that. Now I believe there was a trick into figuring out uh, what file goes to what package. Let me see if I can find that. I found what I was looking for on our website, Articonlix Info. We have this start here, fast track. So all the tips and tricks I find and I think people need as a starter is in here. And in the Pacman query, so we scroll through it and at some point in time it talks about pacman and it's our package manager pacman this is something interesting if you found a file and you wonder what packages has actually delivered this file then you type this so you go pacman minus qo and then the path to the file name so i forgot about that so what 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 it was again O, right so it's there it's also part of my memory at <laughs> this website so I was just trying it out before I put it back on here, the recorder, and I just said, okay, take a look at Bash RC. Who's it coming from? That's coming from Bash. And this thing already is coming from Arconlix root git. So I wanted to install something and I couldn't, right? That's, that's how everything got triggered and that's why we went to look. Now, what was I going to install? I was going to install sudo pacman minus s arco linux root to get the resources in arco linux root this is strange again why do i have so little things and why is this sudo pacman minus s arco just that's it what are all the others What is happening? Ah, the Bezier C is killed. Okay. Let's fix this again. So. Update is not working, meaning the Bezier C is broken. So nano, Bezier C, we get this. This is not from us. Okay, fine no problem then we go for the spices we could go that I think that's the only way to do it because let's try this nano etc scale and then 
our bash rc there is not from us. Oops, that's something else. Again, that's not from us. Okay, so the best thing for me to do now is go to the spices, run the application, and overwrite again the bash rc. So whoop, it's ours again. But it's just not in here. ETC scale bash rc is not ours is not there. So when I do a scale, this come this guy comes over and overwrites my stuff, right? Get it? So the ETC scale bash rc has the old salient um, bash rc. What I've now done is close window. What I now have done is copy paste it over. So mm, that's not working either. So two norm. Okay. What I now have done is copy paste it over the bash rc old and the bash rc, right? And this is ours. Article Nexus. So when I do a control alt and I can, oh, don't do scale, Eric. I can update because scale is going to overwrite the salient OS again, right? So everything is, is, is back. But the thing is, I don't want to have to go through that again. What I need to do is get rid of that uh, particular bash or C and ours is in the root kit. But I can't because there are things in there. So that's why we went to pseudo pacman minus QO. Take a look at etc scale and then dot x resources. No package owns etc scale. That's simple. Pseudo pacman, whoa. Pseudo remove etc scale x resources. Here's out. Let's do another one. DMRC. Okay, so that's DMRC. And then face. Okay, face is out. And all the conflicting files because sometimes uh, users ask me it's conflicting with this and that. Well, remove it. If there's a conflict, it means you need to remove it. And if you don't want to remove it, well, make a backup first. Then remove the element. All right, I have removed everything. Let's try to install again Arco Linux rootkit. And fine, great. So my bash or C is now inside uh, etc scale. Example, etc scale. And then bash or C. Not only is the bash or C there, but as well the X resources, I think. Let's have a look. X is there as well. Yeah, X resources. So that's our settings. The problem was, was with um, M, uh, awesome that we had this strange color, right? So it's super dark. And let's see if it's now fixed. All very educational, I think. It is really common sense thinking, analyzing. It's, um, well, actually what I love to do. My brain is happy if I can do that. <laughs> so I guess I forgot to <laughs> log in as Amazon. Ah, uh, Amazon. That's awesome. Well, could make a new desktop, Amazon desktop. They would like that. All right. So get away. Control T. Still black. Then super shift enter. Working. So I'm wondering what is this? This is terminal URXVT. And hack as font. And where is getting its colors from? Good question. 
when I type termite, I can at, at least see what to do. Super T is UXVT. Control T is also what's this? Doesn't say what terminal it is. Oh, there it is. UXVT. Control T is normally in this case an awesome. It's UXVT. Yeah. If I remember correctly, but um, memory is fading, my friends. Hence all the videos. <laughs> No, but um, X resources would be the place to search for, right? But if it's, this is our X resources, did I do a scale, Eric? Did you do a scale? Did you? Did you? I don't know. I think you did. Let's make sure I did. That the logout is something else we need to find out. Why the logout is not working is because no, it's installed. Let's uh, launch termite sudo pacman minus s arco linux obi logout. Is that installed? Yeah, it's installed. So that's not the reason. I'm wondering why that's happening. In the meantime, I can think a little bit about the six resources. Obilogout.conf. There you are. What's he saying? That's you. That's ours. And logout is Arco OB logout. So super F Arco OB logout is working. Is there anyway? It's not working, but it is there. So that's that. Aha. We seem to have an error in the Arco OB logout. So nano plus data sudo nano etc Whoa, where am i going user local bin and then article obi logout why this error so he went through all the desktop sessions and it says I didn't find it that this test obsession is not here. And that's the thing. He's uh, asking the test obsession, and uh, that's not available. So when I do, let's go to another terminal. Um, this this black thing is still there I'm afraid this black thing mm. why is this black why launching termite for now so the environment of our desktop so the echo uh, it's desktop session with an underscore so environment is not here echo desktop session we have a desktop session here uh-huh that's different in our session in our system it's just a word and this system it's a long string. A long string is not the same as a word. So it ends up saying, I don't know this. That's basically it. Well, needs some tweaking if you're on another system. So the logout is not working there. 
but it's working on Oculix. That's the most important thing. So, um, these are resources. Jam, damn, damn, these resources. Um, URX VT. Um, all right. Boom. There it is. <laughs> so, I've been looking around. What you do is you go and see what piece of the puzzle am I missing? Again, because on Alex, Alex D and B, everything is written in scripts and we figured it out, well, maybe even two years ago, how to do it. And what I had to install to have a nice looking system like this one is that you do a rip. And I've installed Urix VT Pearls. So that was missing one of the Lego box of Arch Linux, not from us, Arch Linux. And um, that's the one. So together, if you want to have this one, Urix VT, then don't forget to install Urix VT Pearls as well. So that's going to be a nice look. So this uh, is, so let's do another one, Control T. So this is Urix VT and Termite is looking like this. In the meantime, you did not see me do that. I'm still on VirtualBox, but everything looks transparent. What did I do? I installed Pykem, which is actually the Compton, remember, uh, change in name. And in awesome, we have a pykem.conf and in there, control find virtual box. And it says, if the virtual synchronization, blah, 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 put a hashtag before next line to fix that in virtual box. So if you wanna have transparency in virtual box, you shouldn't have the hashtag, but on the real machine, you need. So we uh, are building operating systems, not for VirtualBox, but for the real metal. So it's set to uh, like that, right? So that's what I did. I put a hashtag in front, I boot it up again, restart, right? Restart, and everything looks now pretty, pretty awesome. Ctrl-Alt-E, let's get some more uh, tools in. Maybe we'll learn more about this operating system. And again, uh, there is an issue. Okay, let's have a look. Article next tweet tool. Let's launch it and see what we get as message. The best tip ever, guys, launch from the, the, uh, yeah, the iBus SH stop desktop is back. So um, let's fix that. Sudo remove etc scale and then in the dot config we have auto start and in there there is this uh, well both of them can go like this so when i do now a scale there is no copy paste and um, th so these are not from us no errors from us we have our own errors we have to fix um we have a possibility now to just launch the ugly suite tool because of the fact that this shell thing is not there anymore um, let's see. Oh yeah, so I need to remove it locally as well. So sudo, well not sudo, just remove me, everything in the config, in the auto start. There are two things in there. And if you see these two, just delete them again. And now, now I can install our, or run our tweet tool because I wanna have some fun. Desktop installer, awesome, is done. BSPWM install. You see these things popping up here. And then it says installed. Super X is a pain in the ass. It's not gonna work. <laughs> um, PK kill, awesome. Uh, what? Yep, that's it. That's the one. Whew, great memory. BSPWM. And then there we go. BSPWM should kick in depending off. Depending off. Okay, not happening. Rip. X title, these things, polybar is there as well. I thought I forgot that one, but no, it's there. BSPWM is there. Ah, uh, we forgot the scale. 
No, we sh shouldn't forget the skull. The skull is there. The skull is okay. What's uh, the reason then? So Super Shift R is going to reload BSBWM. I think it's the, that's the problem we need to solve. Uh, as you see, it all says permission denied in our tweet tool. And what I'm going to do is remove everything in the dot config from uh, BSPWM. Huh? Well, actually, I don't care about any of them. So sudo remove minus R F. Why? The dot config is now empty. I just do scale and everything comes back from uh, etc scale, right? That's where the configs are. And there we are. Super shift R. Nothing happens. Not going to work either because of the fact probably that it has. Uh, Oh yeah, I can do first have a look here. So we have the config, we have uh, the SPWM, it's there. The question is no application selected, termites, I like better. Okay, and then LL. So it's all Eric, so that's cool. So what is he missing? Now we go to the auto start. Open with Vim, not a good idea. Open with Sublime Text, much better. So why would he not launch? Polybar launch. Do we have a polybar here? Because there's a thing missing up here. The thing I do not have is a polybar. The polybar is here, can be launched. The question is, why is it not launching? Do we have the polybar? sudo pacman minus r polybar we have polybar okay so uh, scripts probably scripts that are working here not uh, wor uh, working our clicks are not working here because this line Control C, and then we are going to go to here. Control Shift V. Uh huh. No error. I did expect to find an error at this point in time. So, Polybar, what's up? What's up, Polybar? Probably. Somewhere in here. Because again, we are using a desktop session. And in this system, we have this pathway, user share, X sessions and all that. So that's the issue here. Then we can't well, then we can't actually uh, see what the desktop session is. We could do that. Why think we can do that? Never tried it. Uh, was it set? Let me have a look. Set an, an environment thing. I think it was set or something. Yep, it was set, but setting with export. <laughs> exports and then the file we need is desktop session let's see if that works if we put that in somewhere desktop session equals and then we are on bspwm all right enter There we are. 
So that's the problem. The problem is that if you want to have this uh, element up here, we need to set. We need to set. Where is it? We need to add this thing to I don't know to to some um, file some um, element that launches with it when we launch BSPWM that we change the one that's standard in there with this one and then it will recognize it and you will have a system that works. Okay, that's not gonna be always the problem and again logout will be here as well. The problem. Yep, that's the one. Um, why did I do that? Because we can install lots more. A lot more applications. Now the easiest thing, I'm taking of course the most difficult one first, because that's the challenge there. Oh, fixes. Sorry, Control alt e is what I want. Keyboard shortcut, where is my keyboard shortcut? I killed it. Okay. Tweak. Arclix tweak tool. The dev version. Yes, I know. So there is a check. So we don't run tweak tool twice on a different desktop or something like that. One thing to rule them all. The things that will work are just the desktops. That was uh, was I wanted to say. These guys are fully equipped with everything, and everything is set. And uh, there is no need to make your own scripts to log out or to do so, some special things. Like Plasma, it's very complete. Uh, the others are there as well. So Budgie is complete. Um, desktop, Cinnamon, Deeping, Gnome, LXQT. Yeah, why not? Mate. Mm -hmm. Plasma, XFCE, those guys will have it all. And it's just a click away and it's installed. And we're all getting the packages from the same place. Arch Linux, thank God they exist because that's how we can uh, have this beautiful, these, these beautiful systems. Salient OS, Arch Linux, Arch Labs. Calamaris, ah, there's so many, so many, so many. And maybe it's a good thing to show that as well. So we've used Calamaris as our installer, right? And we have here distribution, independent. Let's see if I can find it quickly. Calamaris, here it is, a link and about, I think it was. So more and more and more applications, uh, applications, distros are using Calamaris, Apricity OS, which is uh, no longer there, I think. We made videos about it in the past. Chakra is still there, and DevOS is a newcomer. And uh, KD Neon, KOS, and so on and so on, right? Swag Arch, beautiful system, unfortunately, not there anymore. But it's great to have an application, to have a, a Calamaris installer, and then we have Arch Linux and then we rely on the guys, uh, the developers from Arch. Look out. Two in a installation here. So Plasma, Awesome, BSP, Cinnamon is here and XFC is here, right? So Cinnamon as the first one. There is Cinnamon. Log out. And XFCE. But tiling window managers are notably always gonna be a little bit more tricky, more challenging, but maybe more rewarding. It all depends on your who you are, and how many time you have to spend in this computer system, right? Or you just want to boot up and go to Facebook and go to your mail. And that's that. It's all what you want. Log out. No. Let's do first an uh, installation. There is the spices and the tweak tool. Yeah, I know. I just killed it. 
so hence it still has the lock key desktop installer so anything really big like uh, I don't know, big desktops I will have it so it'll work Mate we can install all of them now let's try another difficult one difficult to between quotes it's just a matter of figuring out logout what is different between OS 1 and OS 2 helps luft so this polybar again doesn't find the desktop session hence this works this works and we do not have a polybar up here that's the desktop session thing so super x logout it's working on desktop session so new no. okay awesome has its own menu q tile as well uh yeah q tile as well let's open up awesome as its own menu bar no polybar needed no desktop sessions needed so Control alt e it's there the tweak tool and we go for q tile i said right q tile and then install you see the things coming in you wait for it you exit it again <laughs> he doesn't know what it is pkel awesome and it's awesome to be able to play around in the arch linux world with all the tools qtile is its own so that's great everything works Control alt f it's gonna work super f3 putting this one is all gonna be great but super x so log out hmm all right that's out as well uh what did i, did I do what did i do so we could install mate and more and more and more and more elements but i think you get the drift it's an interesting concept an interesting idea to start thinking out of the box thinking globally as linux with a linux kernel with a Firefox and a Vivaldi and a Chromium and um, in our case in our Arch Linux bubble we can jump from A to B and have fun but of course if you want to have a stable system and stable support and, and all that stick with your distro don't um, start asking questions because you start mixing mix all you want but you figure it out right uh, it's not up to us to give support if you're gonna try to mix three four five distros in one ah i almost forgot i promised to tell you that you can actually mix more so make it even more troublesome maybe for support but like i said figure it out right be sherlock holmes be your own solution go for uh, pacman.conf and you could enable even more enable heftus repo bomb it's enabled f12 update update is working as well <laughs> but it should be update and here is heftus repo you see which means if i press ctrl alt u it's gonna launch whoop, wrong button ctrl alt u is pulse audio which is good as well but ctrl alt p is gonna launch our repositories have to repo all these packages are new you can play around with all these packages and switch around and see how it looks when you have an xfc from hefter's point of view or if you want to have a look from bobo's point of view right so it is what it is linux is freedom make your own packages make your own configuration put it on the repo like these guys up another one 
okay but of course don't come crying when everything crashes right it's fun but not for a, um, a system where you work on where you do your business on or whatever right that's your production machine that's something we do not do but in a virtual box what's the harm so here we have all bobos packages and you can try it out you can start with a wallpaper let's install bobos wallpaper apply you can do sudo pacman minus s now but you can also do it via pamic here install the wallpapers sure why not i actually haven't looked at the wallpapers i think I have not looked i think uh, still not working oh, damn i can't use this d menu which is quite annoying i don't know why yet nitrogen is not installed so the pacman minus s minus s nitrogen let's get that in it's a way to set your wallpaper a convenient way to add directories and i'm guessing they are very near to me in the sense to the arc linux backgrounds backgrounds so we have bobo linux here let's open it up yep that's it and okay click apply and then we have our wallpaper coming in it's not sized probably so we tell him automatic yeah but it's not what i want i think it's zoomed what i want apply although it seems to be the say stay the same in the back end let's try something white still the same so zoomed fill is probably what i want yep so zoomed fill is going to cut here the border so i have now a wallpaper from bubble well start with wallpapers and then make it more and more difficult you'll see you'll get conflicts which is normal because we are all trying to make our the same packages in the same place and this is hlwm so hadapsluft but there is also hadapsluft is already installed so it will conflict and the deal is of course if you become part of our repo that you tell pacman Pac to get rid of the arclinx one and get this one so there are no conflicts that uh, the conflict is resolved so lots of things lots of things to play with i think that can only inspire people to to have a look and see if this is something you want to spend time with or not and i'm out it's one minute 18 uh, one hour 18 minutes so um i've been playing around enough and food is waiting cheers <laughs>